What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of Eric. Today we're over here on my Town Hall 10 and we're going to be looking at Town Hall 10 attack strategies that can 3 star in war without a siege machine. The reason I want to look at that is because the North American Mobile Open Tournament is open signups and is starting today. We start six weeks of ladder play and then it's going to go into a phase two and a phase three where there'll be elimination rounds and then a phase four that will be a live final on stage. There's a lot of money on the line here. My team ended up winning first place in the mobile open last season at DreamHack Dallas, but this one's gonna be at ESL One in New York. So I wanna get as many people involved as we can and get so many teams out there because there's a lot of money all the way down to 64th place. And if we look at the tournament here, so if you go to the ESL Play website and you click on Clash of Clans right here, and that's uh, play.esl.com. Go to the Clash of Clans tab here, and you can see right here, the mobile open tournament is live. So you can click on the tier that you wanna play and notice, whoop, notice this right here. There are only a couple teams signed up so far. So if we go into these and you can see the exact rules, everything that you need to sign up, all the signups are on here. You just create a profile here, download the ESL Play app and get going. But look at this with only three teams signed up at Town Hall 10, and there are prizes on hand here. So look, uh, there's a, like a $5,000 prize pool for Town Hall 10, so that'll be scaled down from the Town Hall 12. This is obviously the Town Hall 12 prize distribution, and so there's easy money to be had all the way down to 64th place, but if there's only three teams signed up right now, then now is your chance to get in there and get a chance at some of this big money here, and this, uh, you just need to learn to play without a siege machine and that's exactly what we're going over today so make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's go cook up some of these armies and go give some of these a shot all right guys the first attack we're going to look at is the falcon attack this is valkyries bowlers and hogs and a queen walk is involved here and it's relatively simple we're not going to use that siege machine we already have a training potion pop the next strategy that we'll go over after that is the queen charge lalu and I got a couple more for you. So stick around all the way to see a lot of different variety of attacks. And then you can choose the one that best fits your play style and go out there and triple some bases and more. So let's get into this and go find a base, the toughest one we can, and see if we can land some triples with this. It will be farming bases. So hopefully we engage some that have a CC and our max. So we'll see what we can find, but we're limited to what the search can give us. All right, guys, we found a base here, and this one looks really good. It has a little moat here running through the center of it. So what I'm thinking is if we can come in at the top side of this base here and go through these tight compartments, then we should be able to get all the way through and get to the Inferno. So let's see if we can do it here. We do have openings here and here, so I want to make sure that those are closed off so my uh, Valkyries don't leave the base. But let's start the Queen up at the top here and work her way down and then we'll uh start the let's uh, see which way she wants to go first i don't know which way she'll go so we'll just be patient here and get an idea of where she wants to go and then we'll punch in and see if we can find a good spot to get in so uh keep on working here she's not under any big threat there as long as she's under no more than two defenses at a time then she should stay safe Looks like she is uh veering off to three o'clock. So let's uh start the king out here. Let's get the baby dragon to make sure that she continues that way. And uh, we want them to go surge forward and clear as much as they can. So pop that king ability and get these uh, Valkyries a good spot to enter the base there. It looks like the king is kind of being annoying there, attacking the wall there. Maybe get the Valkyries to attack that same wall. They are. Let's get the bowlers as well and see if we can punch in. No, they're retargeting. Uh, all right, so let's get a rage down. See if they can break through that wall. There we go. We're in. We're in. So let's uh get a heal down. We're pushing in. We get a freeze in the, this compact core. Get another rage and a heal as we're inside of the gut of the base now and see how far we can get. We got some a uh, bunch of defenses down here being tanked, so we'll try to snipe them off while they're being tanked. We'll get another rage down here wherever those Valkyries are going. We'll follow them with the rages and then see how if we can keep those healers up and push on through so we didn't have a cc come out on this one obviously we can't choose what's uh we have to we can't set a cc for them and so i'll just have to take what i can get here but 
we tore through the base here and that is a three star the hogs wrap around and clean it up while the valkyries have now broken to the outside there with those bowlers and we'll finish it out so this it is a little tricky sometimes and i think of the strategies that we'll see i think this is one of the safer uh two star strategies with a pretty good chance of triple we'll uh, swag that queen ability there as they go through but this one since it just charges into the core of the base it often will get that town hall even in those anti two star style bases if you have like an island center and a full ring then you'll use the la loon attack which we'll go look at next so with that there we go three star with the falcon attack and there we go all right and now the queen charge la loon is going to go very similarly to that one but we're just gonna send in the queen by herself to go after the enemy queen here. So here's a, another max base, and this one has max heroes. So it looks like the king is under construction, but that shouldn't really affect the queen charge uh, the way that I was gonna do it anyway. So let's uh, see if we can charge in here. Notice that over on the corner of the base here, this uh, dark elixir drill is only three tiles in. We're gonna use that as a funneling point because the queen can reach over the wall and that will stop her from going the wrong. So uh, let's uh, throw that baby dragon. I should've thrown on the hut out there. Oh, we'll make sure we don't forget to go back for that hut and see what we can do here. Let's uh, punch in right around the second archer tower up the line here and go in after the queen. I don't wanna go into the first one because I want to, actually I do want to go into the cannon. So let's start the king out here, get ready for a wall break before the, need the wall breaks are to go in before the cannon goes down. We got a rage here. Got it open. Can you get a second one? Perfect. All right, there we go, we're in. So we'll see if a CC comes out. Looks like we do have a little bit of CC exiting and it looks like a E drag is coming out. So we're gonna poison down and see if we can get through that. Looks like my king is gonna beat down the enemy queen there. That works out nicely. And we'll work our way in, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get around that inferno. I'm not sure what we'll do about that. Didn't have enough time to plan ahead here in a random attack, but we should be all right there. We'll see how far this queen can go. We'll throw another rage on her to keep her alive. And I think we're gonna have to start the law loon right here. So let's uh, start balloons in. And start working our way through. Because my healers are getting targeted there, so we'll pop the queen ability and keep on pushing in. We're going to heal through the infernos here and see how much heal we can get out of that. Uh, looks like we'll get into this other here, uh, other inferno here relatively fast. And should be alright. I think we're doing pretty good. Got another haste here to get through all these. And we'll throw a balloon there, sure. And we'll, uh, don't forget that corner hut, work our way into the trash, and I think we're good. So, there we go. Queen Charge Laloon, in my opinion, is the strongest attack strategy at Town Hall 10 that you don't need a siege machine for. So we had a fully active base there. The king being under construction would not have affected my attack in any way. My queen went nowhere near there. So, as you can see, that is... Uh, this is pretty much my favorite Town Hall 10 attack to use without a Siege Machine, and it works really, really well. You can bring a Hound, excuse me, uh, Bloons instead of the Hound if you're going against single Infernos, and then I would replace the heal with Jump, or not Jump, uh, Free Spells to protect your Hounds and uh, protect your Queen as you charge in. So, there we have it. Easy day. Let's go into the next one now. Alright, and the third and final strategy that is the best without. And notice that all these involve a queen charge of some sort. You kind of need the value out of a queen charge to be able to make up for not having a siege machine. And so we're kind of shifting back to the metas before siege machines existed. So let's go see if we can find another max base and make this one work right here. All right, guys, we found one and here we go. We got a single and a multi inferno. So I want to avoid approaching the single inferno with my queen. So I'm going to make an approach from the other side here. So we have this weird apartment right here. I don't know what's up with that, but we're going to try to use my king out in front there to uh, push my queen in. So we'll start my queen right here. Uh, we'll <laughs> kill this down. Get the baby dragon working right there. I'm gonna try to clear out that and let's uh we need to wall break that corner in between those cans right there so let's uh start the king here we'll uh poison rage try to get through those valkyries oh we're gonna have to pop ability to get to those max valkyries all right 
Keep on pushing. King is coming forward here. I don't really... I don't... I'm not in love with that. Uh, let's get another Rage down to overlap this compartment. We'll pop the King ability there. And now, send in that... We're going for that corner there. Got the wall break. So, so far so good. We're inside of the Rage. We'll be able to take out the enemy King there, then step up and take the Queen. And then we'll figure out where we want to go with the Hogs. So, we have one more Rage to work with here. And let's see how far we can go. Don't have another uh, Queen ability there, so... Hang on there. Let's get a couple Hogs in here to support. Get this Queen back up. She's out of Rages now. We'll get the higher level Hog up from the top side. And then more going through the core of the base right here. Get a couple Wizards down behind to support. Everything should start collapsing in. We'll get the first heal there. Going into the Multi-Inferno, the top side. Hopefully those higher level Hogs can last a little bit longer. We'll get the next one here and see if they can move into that heal. Queen is still going good. Let's get the Wizards down behind. I misclicked them and they didn't go down a second ago. But do we have enough to punch through? A couple Hogs are splitting off to the north there. The Inferno's down so the Queen can step up and start working and tanking with those Hogs. Hitting a couple giant bombs as we cross the channel. Let's keep on moving here. The Queen hopefully can finish the rest out here behind the Hogs. So it looks like we may fall a little bit short here. But we came relatively close. Or close. The Queen... Oh, looks like she just went down some skelly traps. So, this one's, uh, I think, out of the three strategies, this is the toughest of the three. And we'll see what happens when we go into the mobile open here. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot of really, really cool three-star Town Hall 10 attacks without siege machines, without high-level CC troops, without any of that. So, Keep these strategies in mind if you're going to participate, but let's go look at the mobile open website now and we'll see if we can uh, show you guys how to sign up for the tournament here. And I'll hope you, hopefully I'll see you guys on the other side of the table, regardless of which side you are going to be playing on at the mobile open for Town Hall 10, 11, or 12. I'm personally going to be playing 12, so let's go check that out. Alright guys, let's go back to the ESL website here so we can see how to get signed up. So, if you guys want to play, then I highly recommend it. You do three things. One is join the Mobile Open Discord channel. I'll put a link for that in the description. Join my own Discord channel. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. If you need help finding a team, then I'll have resources on there to help you find a team. And Or if you just want to be assigned with random people, that uh, also want to play in it, then you'll just be able to opt in on there and then we will help you, we'll hook you up. So then go to the top corner here on the website and uh, sign in or create an account. Then go and after you have an account created, then go down to the mobile open here and you'll be able to click on the tier that you want to play, Town 11, 10 or 12. So I'm going to be playing Town Hall 12, so we'll click into that here. And then over on the right side of the screen here will be a checklist that you'll have to go through to get signed up. So it needs to verify your minimum age. It is 16 or older, and you have to be in North America to be eligible to play in this tournament. And then you will attach your player tag here, which is uh, uh, your account. So right here, it's going to ask you for two things. Mine is, uh, one is my player tag. Let's uh Go back to the game here one second so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so right under my name is my player tag and then if i need that api token which is a unique code that is going to keep your account protected and verify it's actually your account so you're not just entering some random uh player's code there and so you click show and it'll reveal that code there i can't press show or you'll be able to attach mine and i want to keep it secret so we will then go back to the website and enter those in right here, and that will attach your profile. Mine's already attached. You can have one uh, one account attached for each town hall level. To my knowledge, I haven't tried to attach multiple of the same, but it makes sense. Every time I signed up for a tournament, it has automatically selected the town hall level of mine that is on my account associated uh, with the tournament. So this is 12, so it'll look at my 12, and then. We need to uh, actually join a team here. So it says I'm ready to play, but I need to get my team ready to play. So it looks like my team is all pretty much ready here. And so I can see uh, the status of every single one of my teammates and everybody does look like they're ready, but let's go to the app here so we can see how to manage your team. So download the ESL Play app. Let's switch over to that right here. So 
If you go to the app here, log into the profile that you create on the website, you can also create your profile from the app here. It's nice and convenient and it will give you updates whenever you have a upcoming match. So whenever you match, it'll tell you and send a notification to your phone. So if you click on teams here, it'll show you all the teams that you have been invited to if you've already added. If you need to create a team, then hit that create and it'll walk you through the process there. It's fairly easy. Once you have one created, then you will hit that share invite link and send that link to the other people that want to be on your team. So in the top quarter being covered by my overlay right now, it'll there's an edit button. If you click on that, it will reveal your password. So everybody will need the link and the password to actually join the team. And so you'll need six players potentially. You'll need five technically to play, but you can have an alternate who can sub in and out. From the beginning of the tournament to the end of the tournament, you have to have uh, three of the original members that signed up out of five. So. If you are swapping out members or people uh, bail on you or something like that, you have to maintain three members of the original team to be able to uh, go all the way. You'll be able to make changes to your team uh, anytime during uh, phase one, I believe. And then after that, you have to make changes during the, uh, the breaks between phases. So between phase two and phase three or between phase one and phase two. I don't remember if you can actually change it during phase one. So make sure you get your team right the first time just in case but <laughs> all right so clicking back into the website here once you have your team set up you press sign up there and confirm it and then you're good to go i'll be attaching my team later tonight and then after that there'll be a button that will replace that sign up that will be find match you'll click on that it'll put a random spin with another team in the tournament and match you up you'll play a 15 minute prep one hour war with them where each player is only allowed to use one attack and you'll only use uh troops that are able to be donated to you from a level one clan you need to make sure that your clan has your friendly challenges turned on in a setting so we'll uh, look at that real quick so you can make sure that you don't make this mistake or you're going to end up forfeiting forfeiting your first match. All right, so to set that, you just need to go to your clan page here if you're co-leader, and then you'll click edit, and then you'll be able to, right at the bottom there, it says public war log and friendly wars. You need to make sure those are checked so that people can send you challenges for wars and that the website can automatically update the scores after a match. So if you end up having a tie, uh, the website can't distinguish the difference between a uh, the percentage of the matches it only sees the scores of stars and so if you have a tie then you need to get those manually input to re report the match results but that's pretty much it guys so go join like i said my discord the esl mobile open discord go create a profile get your team signed up and then if you need help finding a team then ask uh I'll opt in on my discord and come Join Double Barrel if you'd like, and they'll be able to do practice wars here in between the matches and do friendly challenges here and get ready. So that's it for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the open.